everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm doing the video here at Normal House today because I think maybe one of the most interesting things that I'm working on today is happening right here, right now, before we head out on site. River's having breakfast, and I'm taking this opportunity to put together the light tubes. If you look just to your left, I get a bunch of them already assembled. Uh, they're being made just out of this flexible mylar material. Mylar is something that's oftentimes used in like growing environments, like indoor, where you want to uh, maximize all of your light, so it's used to reflect light. So I figure, well, that makes sense. I'll use it for reflecting light inside my light tubes. I'm taking this stuff and I'm forming it into, as you can see, tube shapes. And they're going to drop right into the 4-inch conduit that I have uh, already installed there at site. Here are some sections of it. Uh, and I have these here specifically because I'm using them to form the, uh, the these tubes to make sure that when I go on site they're going to slide you know, nice and uh, cleanly into the, the tubes that I have out there. I don't want them too big, obviously, because they wouldn't fit, and I don't want them too small because I really want them to be as large as they possibly can and fit nice and snugly in there. So the process that I've been using is I've got two of these sections right here. Uh, I cut them and then I used a knife to kind of clean up the edge so there's no burrs or anything. And I'm not sitting down when I do this, so I'm going to get rid of that chair. I take this stuff, give it a little roll, and it doesn't have to be exactly the right size at this point, and I'm sliding it inside of these two tubes here, and then I'm just using some regular just uh, paper tape to uh, to tape up the edges. I also bought some special tape that's good for high temperatures and freezing and all that kind of stuff, and I foolishly brought that over on site. Um, that's not a big deal though because I think that the regular paper tape is probably the easiest way to initially work with it, and once I get these kind of taped together with this stuff, I'm going to go and put the, the better tape onto them. Uh, or, or maybe I won't, to be honest. I, I mean, these are so accessible, uh, the way that I built them, that if the tape fails and they kind of slump down, I'll very easily be able to pull them out and, uh, you know, fix them later on. So maybe I'll, I'll stay with this because the really uh, high quality tape, the, the stuff that's good for heating and freezing and all that stuff, it's kind of thick and this stuff is really thin and, and thin tape is going to work a little bit better for this. And you'll see what, why I say that in a moment. So I'm going to take these... Uh, these tubes, bring them right up to the edge, and I want to expand this uh, mylar as much as I can so it really fills that void up. So I'm going to take it and slide it with my fingers so it maximizes its uh, profile in there. And again, I'm using these guys to gauge it to make sure it doesn't get too big. And now I'm going to take the piece of tape and put it on the edge here and do a little fold. All right. Now I'm going to do the same thing over at the other end. Again, taking this section and sliding all the way down. And the reason it's great to have scrap is because it gives me great access to the middle while I'm doing this as well. So again, I'm expanding out this as wide as it can go inside that tube. And I'm putting the tape on and just folding it over the edge. And now I'll do the middle. And the way I did this earlier that seemed to work out pretty well is to take, oh yeah, take these guys and kind of slide them right around the area that I'm going to be working on. I'm going to put one in the middle and then, you know, uh, two in the middle of each of, of those sections. But I'll start with these. So I'm just putting the tape on the outer side and then I'm reaching in and just with my fingers kind of expanding the, the mylar as far as it'll go inside these tubes. And then uh, pushing it down. I'll do the middle section now. Already on site, there's a fair amount of light that just comes through the light tubes as they are. But, oh yeah, I can't reach my hand. These are four feet long, I can't reach two feet down into them. But for this, uh, actually, and because of that, that was why I was doing these ones at the quarter distances first. Get it all kind of rigid there, and then I just place one extra in the middle. Here we go, putting my arm down, splaying it out, and attaching it, and now... Now doing the center section. All right. Okay, so that's one. One more edge. Slide these out, and as you can see, it's a nice, nice tight, snug fit. Oh, maybe a little extra snug on that side. All right, nice snug fit going right through there. What's that look like? Like that? Is that cool? So, I'm going to go out on site today, uh, we're going to install a bunch of these and just kind of see how they're, how they're working. 